I had a pretty normal life. I think we had a pretty normal childhood, run around from daylight to dusk. And I don't know, Ma never knew where we were, but we were always into something. Well, my dad was in the Army and my uncles, and I didn't want to go to college, so and three friends jumped in the car and came to Sioux Falls and joined up with the military. They didn't know I, I enlisted until I came home and uh, Dad wasn't very happy. But... I didn't even know what Vietnam was at the time. Just thought that's what you're, you should be doing. Give back a little bit to your country and. Basic was an eye opener, and then I mean they kept pounding into you know learn what we're teaching because you're going to need it, and, and it's really true. Every day, while well, orders to Vietnam were coming, and so they came, and I was gone. I came into the, the second of 17 cab. They were cooking steaks and they had a big trailer full of beer and I thought, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be the place. And that was a great unit. And then it was everything was connected with trenches and it was about neck deep and you and they went out to the fighting positions. And life was good. We guarded the airstrip, and but then for, for about three days we were getting rockets in and blowing crap up. And the night of the 22nd, I was on put on guard duty, so I was out. I had just come back to to go to bed. I think Phil was gonna go out and the, the rockets and stuff started coming in and got like like daylight out there so I, him and I were gonna truck out to the fighting position no more got out and when the elbow was blowed up all the crap and so him and I got in the hole and then they satchel charged our bunker, which buried the other guys in there. And then it went downhill from there. They were coming right through our third platoon. So it was Phil and me out there against the world. He shot some guys up before I, I never even seen them, and, or they'd have had me. And, I see somebody trucking up, I thought, God, it was one of ours, and he, he come up there and boom, he throwed in something, and all I remember is one of them blew up. I don't know, it was, he was inside, and I, for some reason, I went out, and there was, there was a whole bunch of them coming down to, the trenches, so I shot them up. And next thing I know, I'm laying up on top of the out of the hole there, and I blew up. From that on, I don't really remember. We was they came in and pulled us out. And then I don't know. I ended up in Fitzsimmons. And can't regret any of it though, it's just a part of your life. And I was discharged right out of Fitzsimmons in, I think it was April 7th of 72. And then that was life, I guess. You get up and go to work and 
called me down to the office. We had a call from, from the White House. And they told me I, I was going to receive the Medal of Honor. And I never even knew I was put in for one. I joined the National Guard when I was discharged out of Fitzsimmons Hospital. And I stayed in, in there for about 18 years and then I got a job at the VA hospital and finished out to retirement. That's the beauty of the, the medal. You get to go, we go all over the country to things and you meet so many nice people. Some of them you stay in contact with for forever. Thank you.